What's going on, my peoples? We are here. About ready to get out of work. Well, I'm, I am out of work, man. Um, about ready to go home right now. You know? But what I want to talk to you about today is um safety, man. You know? One of my biggest things in local trucking and local food service it's safety, you know, everything I do, I think about being safe, you know, working safe, you know what I mean? Like, I pull up to a stop, um, always make sure I got my hazard on, my four-way hazard, um, always make sure I, my windows is wind down so I can hear what's going on out there, and so people, um, hear me. Always communicate with my horn when I'm backing up with my um, you know, with my um, communicate blowing the horn, you know, air horn, city horn, whatever horn you got. Always make sure I'm communicating. I blow the horn several times when I'm backing up, cause you never know. Like for instance, today I was backing up into a tight spot. I blew my horn three times and I'm backing up slow, and out of nowhere I seen this car like drove behind me and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, yo, some of these people, they don't care, man, you know? Um, these people nowadays, man, they don't got no respect for truck drivers, man. We're like nothing to them. So you gotta do your part, play your part, be safe out there, you know what I mean? Um, and as a, as a driver that trains new drivers, um, I try to be as safe as possible, man. Try to live safe, um, you know, everything I do. We think about safety, you know what I'm saying? Because, yo, we're trying to make it home, man. Um, drive slow, work fast. That's my motto. You know, there ain't no need to rush. Ain't no need to fuss, man. Um, you're going to make it there. You know what I mean? Never worry, never worry about that car behind you that's blowing the horn, trying to say you're driving too slow. It's okay. You know what I mean? Got to be safe out there, man. Another thing I want to talk about, the new hours of service stuff. All right? Now... This might be good and it might not be good, right? I'm going to tell you why it's good, right? Now, it might be good because you got some people, they can um just go to work and just work, right? Now, the reason why it might not be good, you're going to have some drivers out there now. They're going to be pushing it. You know what I mean? Drivers, if you're out there on your route, man, if you're out there working, you're driving all day and you get drowsy, Man, pull over and take a break, man. Because at the end of the day, the company is still going to be there, man. You know what I mean? But once you're gone, you're gone. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, if you're out there driving, and you get drowsy. Man, that's it, man. Yeah, it's a six foot six on the ground. You know what I mean? Never to be found. You know what I mean? So you got to be safe, man. Think safe. Um, and everything you're doing, trucking, put safety first. One thing, the, old, the, the most of the guys on YouTube, man, they come and they run their mouth about they making this money and that money and all type of money. <clears throat> they never talk about safety, man, you know? And they got so much people that's listening to them, following them and stuff. Everybody chasing the bag, chasing the bag over there, all over the place, man. But nobody talks about safety, you know what I mean? Safety, man, that's the key. I know you probably think the Smith system is a bunch of bull crap, but you know what I mean? If you really believe in the Smith system, it actually does save lives. Save lives. You know what I mean? Nowadays, man, I go driving down the road. I look to the left. I look to the right. I see people texting and driving and all type of stuff, man. Like, like people nowadays are crazy, man. We got to look out for these four-wheelers. You know, we got to look out for these ladies doing their makeup while they're driving on the highway. Like, literally doing their makeup. They're, like, holding the wheel. They're doing their makeup and all type of stuff, man. And we got to look out for these, all these crazy people, man, on the highway. You know what I mean? People road raging, all type of stuff. We deal with all type of stuff, man. And we got to look out for these people that's trying to get them cheap, that's trying to come up. You know what I mean? Trying to get hit by a big company so they can, um, they think that's their way up. You know what I mean? It's rough out here for us, man. Like food service driver, we backing up all day. Got to be extra precautious, man. You know what I mean? You gotta be extra precautious. Cause we can look at a we can look at a clear pathway to back up. And once we start backing up, 
like boom some somebody go and park where we need to back up at and just because they're in our blind spot we can't see them boom we hit something just like that i mean one of the most common way of getting in the accident locally is backing up you know what i mean that's one of the most common way of getting the accident you know what i'm saying so if you know you that driver that can't back up don't even waste your time applying for food service because we backing up all day every day blind siding you know what i mean backing up to the right backing up to the left backing up on top of a, the roofs backing up in the pools backing up in the ocean <laughs> but on the real though man safety is the key man so you know let me know what y'all think man go ahead and leave a comment in this video you know what i mean hope everybody have a good day you know y'all be easy out there